Hi, welcome to valuationpodcast.com, a podcast and video series about all things related to business and valuation. My name is Melissa Gregg, and I'm on a financial mediator and business valuation expert in St. Louis, Missouri. Today, we're discussing a fractional CFO's role in business growth and exit strategies with Alina Rivera. She's a CEO and founder of Advising Puerto Rico, LLC, and she specializes in business valuations and strategic planning. Her expertise also includes internal audit, due diligence, capital raises, feasibility analyses, and transfer pricing for compliance purposes, among other services. Welcome, Alina. How are you? But what are some of the things that you see that fractional CFO would do in the business? For example, once we start with a client, we look at their finances, we look at that something as simple as looking at the share of account, making sure the finances are in order so the client can have the information, the financial information needed every month to make decisions. We put together monthly financial reports so we can discuss the results with the clients and they don't have to wait until the end of the years when they have the tax returns to make decisions. So we will do budgets. That's something that Clients think it's very difficult. They don't they don't budget. And then once they are in really deep trouble, that's when they are looking for help. And it may be, you know, late. So that's the way we have budgets. We have um, monthly analysis where we look at budget versus actual. We do cash flow management with them so they know what they need to pay um, initially, what can wait. Because some clients, they just are worried about having um, debts. So they try to pay every week all the the, um, vendors. Mm. Then you can teach them, no, you don't have to do that. You may have, these are due on presentation of the invoice. They have, you will have 30 days for this. So we deal with them with cash management. And also simple things like oh, I started the business and I um, pay for this streaming service that I don't need anymore, but I forgot. And since I don't look at the finances, now I'm paying 200, 300 bucks in different stuff that you don't need. So we do also cost saving analysis. I know I'm, I'm using a simple example as streaming, but when you add up all these costs, that might get you in trouble. So we do that cost saving analysis too, to make sure that the business um, is paying for what they need um, and they are maximizing um, all their, you know, um, their revenues and their resources. Because the problem is most of the of the business owners, they are just concentrating on revenues. Uh, my goal is two millions, three millions, four millions, five millions. But you may have two millions in revenues, but if your profit is twenty thousand bucks, it's better for just have one million in revenues and have a hundred bucks. Or 200 bucks because mm-hmm. I can see I, I have seen that. So you have to concentrate in revenues, but also in profit, because that is the thing that is going to add value to your business. It's not the revenues, it's the profit and what you're making. So that is important. So in, in this, this process, as a, as a fractional CFO, I also have the opportunity to teach my clients about how to deal with the manage their businesses in terms of finances and making sure that. They can prepare their business to grow, but also at the end to exit the business. It doesn't matter if it's this year, in five years, in 20 years. You have to be ready because you never know when that opportunity is going to come. 